Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have uh, prepared uh, the first image and then the last image. Basically, it is the silicon vacancy at one position and silicon vacancy in, in a neighboring position. And um, in this uh, video, I, I will show you how to calculate the energy barrier uh, for um, between those two images, uh, basically the for the vacancy to move uh, from one position to another uh, position. And this is the first step. Um, without a uh, climbing image. So, so in the next uh, video, I will show you how to refine the calculation with a uh, climbing image. And, um, and I, will, I will also explain to you what is climbing image and, and, uh, and why it, it can give better result. Okay, so let's get started. And um, as usual, this kind of uh, energy barrier calculation usually takes a lot of time so i will not uh, repeat the calculation here I have, I have already done the calculation so basically what you need is um, is this input file here and um, and then you just uh, type in uh, mpi run and uh, qbnb.x and for nb.x, you can only use this minus imp and uh, dot supercell through the in and then supercell out. Yeah, so basically, you use uh, this. Oh, sorry, I forgot the, to, to specify the number of cores used and minus mp for example 12 of course if you have yeah so this is the command that you uh, that you use to calculate all of all of the stuff i will i will not do it here okay and then i will show the input file which is here and um from scratch so basically we start from uh, from from the beginning and uh there are 150 steps uh maximum so basically it will stop uh, after 150 but usually you, you don't uh, you, you will not really go to 150 steps yeah so uh, so this is uh, the, the um, optimization scheme I think this is the um, recommended one and uh, the number of image is 10 I, I think the, the more images you have the more uh, precise your uh, your energy curve will be yeah but uh, usually for, for this kind of short distance 10 or 8 should be fine and uh, this uh, ci scheme this is important ci means climbing image so uh, usually for the uh, en energy barrier calculation uh, for the first calculation you shouldn't use a climbing image so you should specify no climbing image and then when it come uh, after the convergence you can uh, refine uh, you can restart and refine the calculation with climbing image which i will introduce you in the next video so this is the path threshold so basically that uh, the, the smaller the threshold is the more precise your um, energy path will be yeah so this is also a good starting point 0 0.05 so uh, and then this engine begin engine input and uh, so basically, uh, this is something similar as the pw.x, the input file of the pw.x. You specify control uh, name card and system name card and electron name, name card. And um, so everything is the same. It's just that you move the atomic positions to the to the images. Yeah. So this is the first image, which is the starting point here that we copy uh, uh, the relaxation. Uh, uh, we copy the um, output of the relaxation in the in the last step uh, in the previous step uh, to here and then the uh, the last image we we copy the um, we copy this case the output of this relaxation here yeah and the end position and the engine input and uh, end so this is the input file for this uh, energy barrier calculation and then I can show you what is the output file that I get. So so basically, uh, it will go through the iterations, and this 150 means that it, uh, means the maximum, um, like the maximum number of iterations. So uh, so when the iteration reaches 150, it will stop. 
Okay, so now you see that uh, convergence achieved in 14 iterations. So it only runs 14 iterations. And then, the, and this is the NG barrier, the activation energy. Okay, we just copy it and uh, paste it here. And it is uh, electron volt. So it is very close to the re reference, yeah. And um, and basically this is the um, uh, 10 images and, uh, and the energies, you see that uh, the energy is small and then goes up and then goes uh, goes down again. So imagine you have more images, then you have more energy points, uh, the, the energy curve will be more smooth and you get a better estimation. Yeah, okay. So so I think that's that's more or less it. And um, and you also see that there are a lot of output files for this uh, NEB dot x calculation. And one important thing is that uh, is this one. Yeah. And for this one, you can open it using uh, X Kristen. So as as an animation. So open X Kristen file and uh, open structure and AXSF. So this is the animation structure file. And you open this one. Okay. And then this is basically the the animation of the first image to the tenth image. So for the from the beginning to the end, it, it shows how the atom moves uh, with, with this um, minimum energy barrier. Okay, I can show you what is the animation. So you see that atom moves from here to here. Yeah, and I show you again, and maybe slowly. Yeah, so this is the uh, minimum uh, energy barrier path. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to uh, calculate the uh, the energy barrier between between this case between this case and uh, this case. So basically, the vacancy moves from uh, from one place to its neighboring position. And the energy barrier calculated is around 0 0.3 electron volt, which is quite good um, estimation with respect to the reference. So in the next video, I will show you how to restart the calculation and, um, and uh, activate the climbing image to have a better estimation. So uh, thank you for watching. If you liked my video, I appreciate, appreciate your like or subs subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.